big anniversary is happening this week. Thursday is the one-year anniversary of my nine-and-a-half-hour open-heart surgery. So a year ago on Thursday, I had uh, surgery at uh, University of Michigan Hospital. It's my happy heart versary. Uh, you need to do they have Do they have uh, cards? Chelsea said that, too. Chelsea said that she wants to do something. Right. Um, you know, because it was something that was so significant in not just my life, but our lives, our family's life. It mm -hmm. saved your life. And um, so I'm like, what do you do? So what did I do? I went to Pinterest. And I mean, who doesn't did love you? heart cookies and heart cakes? And <laughs> they had all kinds of things. Heart decorations. They had all, it, believe it or not, people actually will do this if they have like a, like a, you know. I love it. Not um, a surprise. You've been given a second lease on life. I told Chelsea, I said, um, would it be bad if we went out for like a great steak dinner? <laughs> or, or, or is that a little bit ah, weird? Once to do? is okay. If you did it every week, maybe not. But to be completely honest and to hopefully not get, you know, I don't want to get emotional and stuff because I think I did enough emotion last year. Um, that uh, that particular day has a lot of meaning to me. I mean, um, has a lot of meaning because I will never forget the drive uh, going to the hospital with Chelsea and the conversation we had because I didn't want to scare her already more than what she was scared and she didn't want me to be anxious yeah um, so we just kind of uh, joked and laughed and giggled a ton um, and then I will never forget coming out of the the surgery you know in in my the recovery room um how uh much pain how much i was scared um how sad how lonely i was because i couldn't have any family members with me at that that time because of the you know the covid issues um and i think that one thing that i realized that if i would have had the surgery 10 years ago the 10, you know, you talk about the 10 year challenge. The 10 year ago me wouldn't celebrate something like this. The 10 year ago me would say, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to, I don't want to get in, you know, get into the whole thing. I, I, I feel old when I think about this, but I'm 50 years old, you know, and the 10 year ago me now thinks that it's, it's something that I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate a new lease on life. I want to celebrate that God got me through it. I want to celebrate that I think my faith got even stronger over the course of this last year and, and prior to the surgery, knowing that I was going to have this surgery, and I haven't lost that. And I think that 10 years ago when I was, you know, a dumb 40-year-old guy, I think that I wouldn't have done that. I think that I wasn't in the position to do that. Um, the level of gratitude would have just been so different. Yeah, I think that I think that ten years ago I was a little bit, even though you know I was forty years old, I wasn't mature enough to realize how important it was. And I also mm -hmm. don't think that my family structure was was right. Mm -hmm. um, but but with that said, uh, with uh, you know this uh, you know ten year anniversary coming up, I feel like I do owe a, a ton of gratitude to my family for helping me get through it to the doctors, to the nurses. Can I ask you a question? To you guys here at the station for, uh, you know, um, you know, keeping everything in order. and Yeah. I remember you saying, and I think you did it, I remember you saying that you were going to write letters to um, Joey and Jacob and Luke and Chels before you went into the surgery. Did mm -hmm. did they read their letters? Did they ever read their letters? Um, the I believe the boys all did. But, okay. But Chelsea has not. Really? Um, Chelsea did. As a matter of fact, hold on one second. I'm gonna try to see if I. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if I if she's available for me. That's the one thing too. I feel like I'm more available <laughs> these days. <laughs> I feel like I've made myself more available to the people that I love. Hello, Chelsea. How you doing? Good. How, how are you? you? This is my wife, Chelsea. Um, we were, we're talking about uh, the uh, my heart heart versary. <laughs> mm -hmm. And. Um, Shannon just asked a question about the letters that I wrote and actually videos that I made for you. You <laughs> you haven't read the letter, have you? Nope. And you haven't watched the video that I that I no. sent you? Why is mm -hmm. that? Um, I was only gonna read them 
well, first I didn't want to read them unless something went wrong. Mm-hmm. So I and everything was went well. So I didn't. Are you getting emotional? I, no, no, no. I'm fine. Oh, okay. No, it's okay to get I, emotional over me. I'm a very <laughs> emotional type person. No, but, I know. But the no, tone no, of no. the letters and the video were both finality, weren't they? Mojo to be seen or read if no, something it, went wrong. No, it was hot. It, 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 well, they, the premise of them was made for that, but it was how I felt about each one of, uh, mm-hmm. of you guys. And it was, it, it, it was going into the surgery, and it was, if anything should happen to me, um, I want you to know that everything I just said applies. But, I mean, it could apply, you know, even uh, in my life. And actually could get me some good brownie points. <laughs> Come on. Well, the good news is you're here to tell her all those things in person every day. Yeah. And you don't, you didn't have to do it under the sad video. You could tell yeah. her as uh, you're cooking her dinner. Chelsea, do you think I have? As I'm cooking have, her dinner. Have <laughs> slid that one. You slipped that one in there. Uh-huh. Go, go, do you think I have told you how much uh, you mean to me more uh, since my uh, surgery? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, if you'd like to read it, I did spend uh, time I, on I it. <laughs> I did spend a lot of time on did it. Did you spell check it? <laughs> no, they're all handwritten. Yeah. Oh. Which is very nice, and I have them in the desk. I just, I want to, I don't know. I, You're saving I them for when point. I die from the next illness that I'll, I'll have. I'll put them in my box of cards. I think so we'll can you do that, that, Mojo, if you have another disease in 20 years? Can you just say, hey, just read that other letter I wrote? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't have to refer, write a new one. Refer back <laughs> yeah. to 2021. Please see. <laughs> um, Chels, do you know that uh, Joe says he, he watches the video often? Aww. Like, he, he, he will watch that. He, really? Yeah. Oh, that's... Well, Joe, our oldest son. Yeah. What did you say? He's a <laughs> <laughs> well, I do ask him, ask him what's in the video. Let's see how true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but but we also know that Joe is a lot like me and the fact that I would be watching it all the time too and crying. I'm, I like yeah, a good cry. That's true. That's I'm, true. I made Chelsea and Luke go to a movie with me this weekend. All I wanted to do was uh, see that Kurt Warner movie. Was it good? Um Chelsea, you, you give us your uh your thoughts. I, I would it was a good movie, but Luke and I were making a bet on how many times he would cry. <laughs> and he, every time I look over and say, "Are you crying?" And he was, you know, no, as you're wiping the tear. I'm like, yeah, okay. Che- Chelsea brought up a really interesting point. She goes, "Why does every? Because it's kind of a religious movie." Yeah. Because he's a, he he is a very religious guy, and it's, you know, and faith means a lot to him. But Chelsea's like, "Why is it that every one of these religious movies always has the worst actors in it?" Like, why can and they not go out oh, there and get... Oh, excuse me. Contact was an amazing movie. Actors, Thank you. But it just seems like it's not, you it, know, your... It's the B-list. list mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Well, listen, this week we're celebrating, Chels. Oh, yay. <laughs> we're going to have some wild, passionate sex. I had a checkup, and it works out. Uh, oh, everything's, God. Everything <laughs> is good. I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye. Bye. Uh, what's going on, Sam? Hey, how you doing, guys? Good morning. What's happening? So, good morning. My mom celebrates two birthdays, the day that she was born and then the day that she received her kid, which was 11 years ago, almost to the date. In That's three great. days, it'll be 11 years. So That's you, awesome. You always, you got to celebrate it because God gave you really a second chance at life. He let those doctors work miracles on you. Yes. My dad went through four open heart surgeries at the age of 30. Every 10 years, they would tell him he's not going to live 10 years. He lived to 71. So you got blessings all day, brother. Dude, I love hearing that. Thank you so much, and, and all the best to you. God bless you, bro. Thanks, yeah. man. Uh, what's up, Lisa? Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, hi, Lisa. Hi. Hey, Mojo. You said some very poignant things, and um, saying that the old you, the 40-year-old, wouldn't be celebrating this. And I think there comes a point in, our, in everyone's life that you realize how important life is, how important the people in your life are, and that, you know, truly life is a blessing and that we have to um, be thankful for it. So I'm glad you're here. We prayed for you. And um, I'm glad you see that it's the things that are important now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I uh, No, I thank you for that. Um, 
And I hope others feel the same way too. I hope that you feel the same way about your life that, uh, you know, there's been a lot of, there's a lot of depression that's out there right now. There's a lot of people struggling. And, um, I, I hope that listening to this show is a good little bit of escape for you. And I hope that you realize that things will get better. But exactly. Thanks, Lisa. Take care. You're welcome. Glad you're here, Mojo.